what's going on YouTube oh boy here are the beautiful quail oh well you guys are probably wondering where the boys are well they're on the way to baseball practice so I can do a live gun room chat tonight and you can be a part of it but anyway I wanted to share a little bit of something with you if y'all haven't already heard the boys are quail farmers <laughs> but I think if you've watched the last video I put up you'd already know that Anyway, this is a little bit of what we got here. Um, it's just a simple two-stage uh, breeder cage. That's all this is for, uh, just for breeding, getting fertile eggs. And um, eventually we will, after hatching some eggs, we will move out these hens and put in some younger hens and some new roosters and complete the cycle all over again. But anyway, just wanted to take you guys on a little tour. Thanks for joining me out here on the carport, Outdoors with Tim. Y'all stay tuned, because I think you're going to like it. All right. So, as you can see, uh, we got a little creative. All the little black screws are kind of holding the hardware cloth on there. Uh, we did use some staples, but, you know, we just wanted a reassurance that um, it was secure it maybe you know if something was to try to come up on the porch or the carport It will really have to uh, Pry its way in there guys But uh, let's see Give you a little close-up So the quail we have are Coturnix quail and we have tuxedos and we have some Texas A&M's in here and i believe those to be on the top now their clay their cage is pretty clean because i just got finished giving them uh clean bedding and fresh food and the quail are really easy keepers they're actually easier keepers than the chickens we have in the backyard and i'll take y'all along and show that to you in a few minutes and she's just a talking <laughs> hello darling Well, anyway, how's everybody doing today? Well, I bring y'all along so we can look at the quail here on the porch and uh, show y'all the breeder box. This is the the brooder box, not the breeder. I say that every time. <laughs> this is uh, what me and Tony worked on while little Steve went and visited with his grandma and grandpa tony elected to stay and make this brooder box so we got some eggs in the incubator and i'll take you and show you those in just a minute but um i believe this thing will hold 60 young quail so and that's what it looks like guys a simple little setup the guys are going to when i say the guys the boys are going to be uh raising quail uh, harvesting the eggs and selling the eggs and the whole point of them doing this is to have a side hustle and let me turn this camera around and make a little money now it they have to have a side hustle but have a purpose for the side hustle it wasn't just to make money and go to walmart and buy all the toys they could buy but they had to save their money and use it for something they really really want well one of the things they really want is a go-kart so I told them all the money you make from selling quail eggs and selling quail chicks or baby quail, you should say, uh, we put it in the jar, bank it. And then when they get to a certain dollar amount, we will go buy a go-kart. So that's our plans, guys. Let's go look at the eggs that are uh, in the incubator. Well, all right, guys, we're in the house and here on this table, we have the incubator. This is um, the Pro Series a digital incubator by Farm Innovators. And uh, we can get this at Tractor Supply. We have 41 eggs in there. Let me see if you can see the panel here. Okay, so we are 99.5 on the temp. We have 14 days left and we're at 56% humidity. Now, hatching eggs doesn't have to be complicated. But a lot of people 
we'll make it complicated if it's their first time. But I can assure you there's enough things and videos and content on YouTube for you to really get educated about hatching eggs in an incubator. And this is just a, another uh, external gauge that I bought just to, uh, you know, kind of watch the temps and see where they're going in case this one here gets out of calibration or fails. So anyway, with that being said, let's go outside. Let's go see the chickens. I just got in from work, guys. So uh, I'm just making a short little video before the gun room chat tonight. Just kind of show you what the boys have got going on here. And they're on the way to ball practice, or they're probably already there. And yes, they know it. Each and every one of y'all are asking about them. So let's go check it out. All right, guys. As you can see, uh, chicken coop is still under a little bit of construction. We have two Rhode Island Reds and four Golden Amberlinks. And those girls lay eggs every day. So we have plenty of eggs. So if you need eggs and you're close by, make sure you stop by the house and we'll hook you up. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is the chicken coop right here. And uh, my wife says, the boys want chickens. Let's get them chickens again. And uh, so we did, but we didn't have a chicken coop. But uh, I had that ground blind. If you remember in past videos where we set it out on the ministry property in the pines, well, that's it, repurposed right here and I'll take you on a tour. Let's go. Hello girls. So I gotta put my drop cord up. <laughs> All right, so you guys, here's the side of it. Oh, anything for them kids though, you know? They thought this was the coolest chicken coop in the world right here, using the ground blind. <laughs> so, a little bit of wire in there. Let's see. We have a wire dog crate right there just to, you know, deter any foxes or anything from trying to get in. So let's, uh, let's see. Unhook this. All right. Oh, your water's dirty. I'll straighten that out. So we have a hanging feeder. Uh, holds a pretty good bit of feed. I'm not sure, probably about 25 pounds of feed. And there's that chicken. <laughs> Hello, darling. They're pretty, uh, pretty tame chickens. And there, of course, is where they lay. And um, they're doing really good in here. There's their feeder. All right. Say bye-bye, girls. Say, hey, YouTube, what's up? <laughs> so that's the chicken coop, guys. This is the other side of it. <laughs> <laughs> told my wife I wanted to turn our new and I'm going to finish this up actually going to trim the top of the coop out with some uh, treated lumber tighten up the fence cut that off groom it up nice that fence is on there to keep the chicken hawks from getting our girls and uh, put a door on the front of our coop so we can let the girls out and let them free range through the yard once in a while and as the sun sets, our girls will go back in there and uh, roost for the night. And that's when we'll close up the door. <laughs> but if you see my building, I told my wife, I said, we could use that as a coop. She wasn't having it, guys. But anyway, that's a little bit of what we're doing. These boys are keeping us busy. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching Outdoors with Tim. And uh, y'all make sure you tune in tonight or if you have already. You're probably watching this video a day or two later. So God bless you. Thanks for tuning in. And if you will, like, subscribe, share the videos. And once again, we love you and we'll see you soon.